All right, let's go ahead and do our level best to um, plot a scatter plot using R Commander. So here's my R. Let me require R Commander, R C M D R. Tell it right, Bob. My R Commander window should pop up. <clears throat> Load my data by coming over here to the data tab. Um, I'm using the states data from the car package, so I want to read data set from an attached package. So it's in car. And <clears throat> come down here to states, and you can see there's a lot of, lot of, lot of um, stuff in here. Um, if I want to know about my data, I can just type in help parentheses states in quotes in parentheses hit submit and it should pop open a nice little browser window here that tells me that the states um, data set is uh, <clears throat> has 51 rows and eight columns the observations of our US states and um, Washington DC region population is the pop variable SATV SATM percent dollars pay those are my variables uh, the source was the United States abstract statistical abstracts of the United States from the Bureau of the Census and <clears throat> it was referenced in 1995 so it's old data so don't think it's uh, the gospel truth right now. Um, so I've got states loaded. If I want to get my scatter plot, I just come over here to graphs. Come to scatter plot. I'm going to make a simple scatter plot to begin with. Pay is my predictor variable. Percent is my response variable. So I get rid of the box plots. I get rid of the smooth line. I get rid of the show spread and I get rid of the identify points. Um, X label, Y label will leave the same. Graph title would be simple, simple plot. So click OK. And okay, here I have my, my simple plot coming up. So um, <clears throat> we can see that. Um, Pay is running along the x-axis like we hoped. Percent of students who graduate runs along over here. Here's my, all my little points out here. And here's this regression line that runs right up the middle of them all. So that's just a simple plot. I want to save that. File. Save as. Uh, PDF. PNG. I like PNG files. If you're going to publish, sometimes you want a PDF file. Uh, I'll just put this on the desktop. Temp. Temp. Temp is what I'm going to call it. Opens up a nice little file that I can then cut and paste or upload into a uh, into a program. So, so say I want to spice this graph up a little bit. Easiest way to do it. Come back back into your your uh, program. It remembers what what you've already done so um, you can edit it so my X label is uh, teacher pay comma average in thousands of dollars the Y axis label is percent HS graduating students who take SAT test. Let's say SAT. And I'll call this a little bit fancier scatter plot. I'll change my plotting character to 7. And I'll identify points interactively. 
Now that will allow me to, to click on certain areas of my plot and um, so I can tell which state um, you're dealing with. I click OK. It says use left mouse button to identify uh, points, right button to exit. So, so here's, here's my fancier scatter plot. Um, so I look at my outliers way up here in the corner. CN must be Connecticut. A, whoops, probably Alaska. I put a little too close to the edge there. We'll come down over here. Arkansas, Maine, Michigan. So we can see who's 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 got high levels of SATs. Massachusetts, New Hampshire, uh, and Connecticut. Hmm. East, Eastern Maine <laughs> looks like a New England New Englanders must go up there to the Pennsylvania Oops, wasn't close enough New Jersey yeah these are all New England DC high levels uh, Arizona Oklahoma Utah all these out west states at low levels so um, right click to stop and, and there I have my my fancier plot that I can um, again save as anything I'll save it as a PDF just for grins just for grins so there's my PDF file open her up has all that nice information on it. So um, that's scatter plots using our commander in a nutshell.